In order to access the SSD hard drive on the 2015 MacBook Pro, you need to remove the bottom, and this is held in place with several Torx screws. And I'm removing this last one just to show you. Now you can easily flip over the bottom, and you can see the internal. You have the CPU fan here, the CPU is here, and you have the batteries, which are separated into different packs to fit the design and here you have the SSD hard drive which is made by Samsung. The one that came with the computer is 128 gigabyte and here I'm going to remove it. So here I actually replaced the screw. This is for the purpose of making this video. This is actually a Phillips screw that I replaced. Originally it had a T5 hex, uh, Torx screw. So here carefully just to hold it by the edge, not to cause any electric, uh, static electricity. And so this one is a PCI Express 3.0, if I remember correctly. And here I have uh, a new 500 gigabyte SSD made by Crucial. As you can see, this is an NVM model, and this is a little bit of uh, shorter compared to the original one and it also has a different interface you can see here I had to buy this adapter specifically to convert the connectors so here I just plug it in and now it's about the same length and also you can see these connectors are the same I'm going to insert this new crucial micron SSD into the socket here. Okay, now it's fully inserted. I'm going to secure it by putting on this Phillips screw. So, there we go. And just remember before you upgrade a hard drive, you need to have a backup of your hard drive before removing it. So you want to back it up on an external USB or a lightning adapter hard drive before you actually remove the original. Otherwise, you won't be able to boot up the computer to uh, do anything with it. And then you can use the external hard drive to restore onto the new SSD hard drive.